So we're beginning this adventure about 100 miles north of Reno in Gerlach, which is, for many people, the gateway to the Black Rock Desert. And a lot of people think of it as the gateway to Burning Man, but it's so much more. Right, it's got a few other nicknames as well, one of which is the potluck capital of the world. Not sure why it <laughs> earned that title, but it does say so on the sign on the edge of town. But also it's known as the darkest town in America, or in fact, the world. And here to explain why that's important is Kirk Peterson from Friends of the Nevada Wilderness, our guide for this trip. Hey, Kirk. Nice to meet you. Hey, Chris. You. Good to see you. So tell us, what is the significance of this location? Well, you said it yourself, Chris. We are 100 miles from Reno, and Reno is the last major light source in this part of the state. And as we move further north, it gets darker and darker and darker. So this is kind of the that transition point between uh, dark skies and ultra dark skies. Oh, very nice. You know, for so many, the idea of being dark sounds kind of scary, but I'm excited to get to explore it. So why is dark sky important? There's a lot of reason why the dark skies are not just important, but really amazing. Uh, humans have been looking at these skies and navigating by them and thinking about what's going on up there. That's helped them understand our place in the world, our place in the universe. Religions come from the sky. But it, it is important that people have uh, been looking at dark skies forever, and we are losing our dark skies as our planet becomes more and more lighted with artificial lights. Uh, we are fortunate out here in the West to have dark sky. We are in Gerlach, which as you said, is one of the darkest towns in America. And it's dark because we are surrounded by public lands. And those public lands push up into Oregon. That's why we have this well of darkness up in here. This is protected lands. Many of the lands are protected from certain types of development, which keeps the light sources out of the area. Well, now that I hear about this in more detail, I'm really excited to see it in person. There are people in Gerlach dedicated to these lands. Kirk introduces us to Stacy Wedick, the executive director of Friends of the Black Rock. So a lot of times when people drive out to Gerlach, they're coming for one reason, which very often is Burning Man, but there's so much more out here. What else can people find? Well, the playa is a big attractor, there's no doubt. You can drive fast, you can light off rockets, you can come in and stargaze. I can light off rockets? Ah! <laughs> no rockets. You should rocket. have brought rockets! No, no, no. <laughs> right. Actually, we do have a lot of rocketeer groups that come out here because it's perfect conditions for such. The NCA is connected to 10 different wilderness areas, wilderness study areas, and those wilderness study areas offer a whole bunch of different kinds of activities and exploration. One of the biggest ones is for those who are cultural history lovers is the Applegate Lassen Trail and the Nobles Trail. So people come out here because they kind of want to touch the place in which hundreds of people came through on their journey to either Oregon or to California. And because of the conditions and the lack of traffic out here, many of the same conditions are exactly as they were when people came. That's a big attractor for people. Friends of Black Rock and High Rock came together even before this was a national conservation area. We figured we needed a friends group to, to kind of promote and steward, and that's how we sort of came into being. We were a consortium in the, in the early days of anyone who was interested in public lands and the use of public lands. So from mining interests to cattle ranching to to stargazers. <laughs> and we kind of maintain that idea of, of public lands belong to the public, so come and, and, uh, and, and share what you want out of your public lands. Not only are you taking care of the wilderness area, but you're also taking care of the community. I absolutely think so. I think that part of my goal as, as a director is not just working with conservation, but being aware of the people that live in and are on the edge of this conservation area. People who don't, who've never been out, or who, who are not very familiar with desert uh, landscapes like this, they may look out and say, what, what needs to be saved? What, why would I, how could I even damage that? I mean, come on, look at it, it's huge. Can you explain why it needs to be protected? We have a lot of public lands in the American West, we know that, but we don't have that many wilderness study areas and, and national conservation areas. And national conservation areas and wilderness study areas get a little extra layer of protection. We say goodbye to Stacy and proceed north on County Highway 447. A few miles up the highway, we take a brief detour on our dark sky path to visit a place I've always wondered about, Planet X. Owner John Bogard is there to greet us. John is a multifaceted potter and painter. Planet X has been his home and his workplace since 1974, and he has expanded this compound with studio and display spaces over the years. So is the Black Rock pretty special to you? Yeah, it's, it's always been a very uh, 
special place. It has a lot of uh, stuff to it. I'll show you out in the painting room. That's where the osmosis of the desert gets you. Oh, yeah. Right. I would, Take awesome. us. I would love go. it. This is where the magic happens? Oh, wow. Oh, nice. This is a painting studio. Wow. When I paint outside, that's my studio. But these, are any of these, uh, are these all done plain air? Or are you all plain air, yeah. We, I go out with a friend, Michael Gurry, and we paint in our, like November. And uh, sometimes I paint in the spring, but most all of these are in the fall. This is A Bear Rim up there by uh, oh, yeah. Valley Falls north of Lakeview. So, a painting like that, you sit down looking at it, how long does it take from start to finish to make that happen? Mm, 45 minutes. Wow. Give or take a few years of training, right? It, that's exactly right. <laughs> but it takes you know, a lot longer to frame them and do all that stuff. It's gorgeous. This is a wonderful artistic oasis in the desert. Every building shows off its own unique collection of work and introduces us to the boundless creative expression to be found here at Planet X.